Hey everybody, it's Miss Katie again. I wanted to get on really quick and talk to you guys about a couple of my favorite things that have to do with our book of the week this week. Uh, one of the things has to do with this. Do you know what this is? Yep, that's a box of crayons, but it's not just any box of crayons. It is a special box of crayons that has 64 different crayons in it. And when I was a little girl, I used to love to get a box of crayons like this because not only was there red and yellow and orange and blue and all your regular colors, there were special colors inside too, like silver and copper and turquoise and chartreuse and blue violet and rose gold and all these amazing colors inside this box. And on the back of the box was a really cool sharpener so your crayons could be sharpened the whole time. I love new sharpened crayons. I love the way they smell, the way they feel, the way you can color and draw with them. A new box of crayons is a really cool thing for Miss Katie because I love crayons. Next thing um, is a clue kind of about our book and this is Miss Katie's sketchbook. And if you know me or see me very much, you'll see uh, when I go to meetings or when I go to church, a lot of times I'll have this with me. And inside, uh, to have a pencil and I will doodle down a drawing or a thought or an idea and uh, so I just about always keep this with me and it's just about full it won't be long Miss Katie's gonna have to get another sketchbook so crayons a sketchbook and what's this I have right here yeah that's a paintbrush what do you do with a paintbrush yeah you can paint and do all kinds of things Miss Katie likes to paint too I have a bucket of paints that I love to make things with. Um, I can't say I'm very good at it, but I do enjoy doing it. So do you have any idea what our book this week might be about? Mm -hmm. It has to do with art. The title of this story is The Art Lesson, and it's written by Tommy DePaola. Now, he was the author because he wrote the words. He has also got another job. Look at what Tommy is holding. Let's see. He's got a paper, and he's got a crayon, and look right there. A big box of crayons, and I see even some paint brushes, and what do you think's in those drawers right there? Could be paint. Tommy DePaola is an artist. If the artist draws the picture, what's that word we use in a book for the one who draws the pictures? Mm -hmm. Illustrator. Tommy DePaola is the artist and the illustrator. Now, he wrote this book a little bit about himself. Do you think it will have something to do with art? Maybe. It's in the title, The Art Lesson. Do you know who picked the title for this story? Mm -hmm. The author picks the title for the story. Tommy DePaola titled this book, The Art Lesson. Would you guys like to read this story with me? Great, let's get started. The Art Lesson by Tommy DePaola. Title page. Tommy knew he wanted to be an artist when he grew up. He drew pictures everywhere he went. It was his favorite thing to do. His friends had favorite things to do, too. Jack collected all kinds of turtles. Herbie made huge cities in his sandbox. Jeannie, Tommy's best friend, could do cartwheels and stand on her head. But Tommy drew and drew and drew. Look at his pictures he drew of his friends, don't he? He drew them doing some of their favorite things. His twin cousins, who were already grown up, were in art school learning to be real artists. They told him not to copy, to practice, practice, practice. So he did. Tommy put his pictures up on the walls of his half of the bedroom. So there are his twin cousins going to school, and Tommy putting his pictures in his friend's bedroom. It looks like he did a good job with his twin cousins. 
his mom put them all around the house. My mom used to do the same thing with my drawings. Does your mom? His dad took them to the barber shop where he worked. Do you see them up there? Tom and Nana, Tommy's Irish grandfather and grandmother, had his pictures in their grocery store. Nana Fall River, his Italian grandmother, put one in a special frame on the table next to his photograph of Aunt Chloe in her wedding dress. Tommy made some really great pictures, didn't he? I think his family was proud, do you? I could tell because they put them up. Once Tommy took a flashlight and a pencil under the covers and he drew pictures on his sheets. But when his mom changed the sheets on Monday and found them, she said, no more drawing on the sheets, Tommy. My mom would have been upset too. His mom and dad were having a new house built, so Tommy drew pictures of what it would look like when it was finished. He's got some good ideas, doesn't he? When the walls were up, one of the carpenters gave Tommy a piece of bright blue chalk. Tommy took the chalk and he drew beautiful pictures all over the unfinished walls. But when the painters came, his dad said, that's it, Tommy. No more drawing on the walls. Why do you think he couldn't draw on the walls anymore? Yeah, he'd probably get in trouble for that. Tommy couldn't wait to go to kindergarten. His brother Joe told him there was a real art teacher who came to the school to give art lessons. When do we have our art lessons, Tommy asked the kindergarten teacher. Oh, you won't have your art lessons until next year, said Miss Bird. But we are going to paint pictures tomorrow. I know my boys and girls always like it when we paint. It wasn't much fun, though. The paint was awful, and the paper got all wrinkly. Miss Bird made the paint by pouring different colored powders into different jars and mixing them with water. The paint didn't stick to the paper very well, and it cracked. If it was windy when Tommy carried his picture home, the paint blew right off the paper. At least you get more than one piece of paper in kindergarten, his brother Joe said. When the art teacher comes, you only get one piece of paper. See the wind blowing his paint off? Kind of matches the leaves blowing. Tommy knew that the art teacher came to school every other Wednesday. He could tell she was an artist because she always wore a blue smock over her dress and she always carried a big box of thick colored chalk. Do you see her blue smock? That's just covering a bit of her dress. I think artists wear it so that they don't get paint or chalk on them to protect their clothes. Once, Tommy and Jeannie looked at the drawings that were hung up in the hallway. They were done by the first graders. Your pictures are much better, Jeannie told Tommy. Next year, when we have real art lessons, you'll be the best one. You think Tommy will be the best one? He might be. Tommy could hardly wait. He practiced all summer. Then on his birthday, which was right after school began, his mom and dad gave him a box of 64 Crayola crayons. Regular boxes of crayons had red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, brown, and black. This box had so many other colors. Blue violet, turquoise, red orange, pink, and even gold. Silver and copper. looks like my box. Class, Miss Landers, the first grade teacher, said, next month the art teacher will come to our room. So on Monday, instead of singing, we will practice using our crayons. You think Tommy will be excited? I bet he will. On Monday, Tommy brought his 64 crayons to school. Miss Landers was not Everyone must use the same crayons, she said. School crayons. School crayons had only the same eight colors. Miss Landers passed them out to the class. She said, these crayons are school property, so do not break them 
do not peel the paper or wear down the points. How am I supposed to practice being an artist with school crayons? Tommy asked Jack and Harvey. That's enough, Tommy, Miss Landers said. I'll, and I want you to take those birthday crayons home with you and leave them there. And Joe was right. They only got one piece of paper. Look at Tommy's face here. How do you think he's feeling at being told he has to take his crayons home? I think he's probably disappointed too. And he just got one piece of paper. Finally, the day of art lessons came. Tommy could hardly sleep that night. The next morning, he hid the box of 64 crayons under his sweater and off to school he went. He was ready. Look at him hiding his crayons in the box. The classroom door opened and in walked the art teacher. Miss Lander said, Class, this is Mrs. Bowers, the art teacher. Patty, who is our paper monitor this week, will give out one piece of paper to each of you. And remember, don't ruin it because it is the only piece you'll get. Now pay attention to Mrs. Bowers. Oh, she's got her blue smock on. It looks like she's holding her chalk. Class, Miss Bowers began, because Thanksgiving is not too far away, we will learn how to draw a pilgrim man, a pilgrim woman, and a turkey. Watch carefully and copy. Copy? Copy? Tommy knew that real artists didn't copy. This was terrible. This was supposed to be a real art lesson. He folded his arms and just sat there. Now what's the matter, Miss Landers asked. Tommy looked past her and spoke right to Miss Bowers. I'm going to be an artist when I grow up. And my cousins told me that real artists don't copy. And besides, Miss Landers won't let me use my own 64 Crayola crayons. Well, well, Miss Bowers said, what are we going to do? She turned to Miss Landers and they whispered together. Miss Landers nodded. Now, Tommy, Miss Bowers said, it wouldn't be fair to let you do something different from the rest of the class. So far in our story, we've read that Tommy's gotten this box of crayons and he wants to be an artist when he grows up. But there's a problem in our story. Do you know what the problem is? Yeah. Tommy wants to be able to make his own things, to draw his own things. We have to figure out how we're going to solve it. What do you think? Do you think Mrs. Bowers and Miss Landers are going to let Tommy use his crayons? Or do you think he's going to have to use his school crayons? Let's read to find out. But I have an idea, Miss Bowers said. If you draw the pilgrim man and woman and turkey, and if there's any time left, I'll give you another piece of paper. And you can do your own picture with your own crayons. Can you do that? I'll try, Tommy said with a big smile. So there's her drawing. Tommy smiling. And he did get his picture. And he did. I think that looks like his art teacher, do you think so? Still does. Tommy DePaolo went on to draw and illustrate and write so many books, all because when he was in school, he was given the right to make his own artwork. He knew what he wanted to do, and he tried so hard. So the problem was that he wanted to be an artist. He wanted to draw. What was the solution they came up with at the end of the story? If Tommy drew with the rest of the class and there was time left, then he got to make his own illustrations. And I think he grew up to be a pretty great author and illustrator. What do you think? All right. So 
This week, as we work in our books, we're going to talk about some of the characters. Let's think, who were some of the characters in my story? Tommy. He had his friends in there. One collected turtles, and uh, one turned somersaults and stood on her head. And Tommy liked to draw. And then there was his mother and his father and his grandparents. He had two different kinds of grandparents in there. Um, the teacher for kindergarten, the teacher for first grade, and the art teacher. So there were a lot of different characters. Now, where did most of this book take place? Was it on a playground? Was it in an art studio? Or was it at school mostly? Sometimes Tommy was home drawing and he drew on the sheets or he drew on his house walls. Sometimes Tommy was at school and he was learning about paints that didn't quite work and one piece of paper rules and using school crayons. So it took place in several different places and it depends on where we were in the story where Tommy was. So the setting can change sometimes. There's all kinds of things we can learn from books, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the art lesson, and I hope you have a great week of learning and growing through this story. I can't wait to see some of the artwork you come up with in your workbooks. So if you finish your workbook and you need to go back and look through some of these pages, um, we'd love to see them. So send your, pic your teacher some pictures or uh, post some pictures, and we will be so excited to see what kind of artist you can be. Until then, happy drawing! Bye.